In this video, we'll take up the homework on recursive sequences. So for the first question, they give you the recursive formula and they ask you for the first four terms of the uh, sequence. Um, you could just study the formula and just come up with the four terms, like what I did for 1a or it can, and 1b, or you can do what I did for 1c and 1d. I uh, basically uh, use the first term to find the second term and then the second term to find the third term and the third term to find the fourth term. It's a little more work, but uh, if you can't see the pattern and generate the uh, values of each term, then that's how you go about to do it. For the second question, uh, they gave me the uh, sequence and I just have to come up with the recursive formula. So just look at the pattern. So for example, for uh, 2a, I see that the general term is equal to the preceding term plus 3. Um, for b, it wasn't as obvious. You're adding by two, taking the preceding term and adding by twice the term number and 1. Uh, 1 more than twice the term number. That's what you're adding by. For c, you cube root the previous term. Uh, you take the cube root and then you add by 1 and then you cube that result. You cube that sum and that will give you uh, the next term. Now I saw, so the better question is how did I come up with this pattern is because, let's see, and the sequence was 1, 8, 27, 64, 125. So it's 1 is 1 cubed, 8 is 2 cubed, and then uh, 3 cubed, 4 cubed, 5 cubed. So I just want to take, basically, um, I want to increase uh, what I'm cubing by 1. So that's why I cube root and I increase by 1. So that one was may have taken you some while to, to think of that, um, but there's another way to generate the pattern, and you can see the way uh, you can see the answer, uh, and and take a look at their explicit, uh, see their recursive formula. But uh, I like this one better. Okay, for D, uh, you're adding by the term number squared. Okay, the previous term and the term uh, and the term number squared. All right, what do you have here? For question three a, once again, they're given they're given the formula, and we have to find the first four ter first four terms of the sequence. Not much to say. Okay, question four. Let's see. You're told the first term, and each succeeding term is two less than four times the pr previous term. So if you interpret that, you'll get the recursive formula I have here. So it's t sub n equals 4 times uh, t sub n minus 1 minus 2. Um, so actually for 4a, they actually just want the first four terms. So if that's the case, uh, let's, write, let's write the first four terms. So it's 3, 10, 38, 150. So those are your first four terms of this recursive sequence. And the formula is actually what the recursive form is what they wanted for part B, but I gave it in part A anyways. All right, last one. So Dana finds out that her best friend has just accepted an offer from Queens. Uh, she tells two friends, these two friends to each tell two more. So using this idea, we can write the terms of the sequence that represent the number of people who are told of the decision each step. So uh, Dana finds out. So she's the first person, and then she tells two people, and those two people tell two more people, so it basically has a doubling effect. Okay, so yeah, so that's how, that's how you can find out how many people are told at each step. And if you look at this as a recursive sequence, that means that you can find any term by taking the preceding term and multiplying it by two. And I forgot to write down, oops, you can't see it. So I forgot to write down that n is a natural number and n is greater than 1. So please remember these details when you write the uh, recursive formula or even when you write the explicit formula. You should indicate that n is a natural number because we're working with you know discrete functions in this unit. So this, this makes it a discrete function. n is a natural number. 
Okay, so there's your uh, solutions for recursive sequences.